Here in this video, we will visit Tesla Gigafactory Berlin and get our first impressions of the Model Y. Our last video about Mercedes EQS got retweeted by Valtteri Bottas, an F1 driver currently competing with Mercedes. So I'm kind of thinking, what can we do this time in order to get his attention? Should we put some Mercedes images in this video? Maybe one more. Okay, let's get back to Tesla. Timo was in Germany just a week back at a county fair organized by Tesla Gigafactory Berlin, where Tesla's CEO Elon Musk also gave a speech and answered some wide-ranging questions. The event was a mix between Oktoberfest and an art exhibition. So this factory will eventually make 500,000 vehicles a year, starting with their Model Y crossover that we'll see later in this video in detail. They'll also make millions of battery cells in this factory, and according to their website, it's supposedly the only Tesla factory to manufacture cars and battery cells at the same time. Just an FYI, to date, all Teslas sold in Europe have been imported from the US or China, so this local presence in Germany will give Tesla more power to compete against the, well, German brands and their growing EV sales. However, according to a recent article in the Wall Street Journal, Tesla has faced many hurdles establishing itself in Germany, and they still have only 14 of the 16 approvals needed for the final permit of this plant. Tesla has been forced to stop clearing trees, there has been concerns over the impact on wildlife and drinking water. So this is some of the opposition experienced by the American EV superstar in Germany. Brandenburg's Prime Minister Hubert Dietmar Wojtke said last month that approval of the factory was however conceivable this year, 2021. But let's think of this for a moment. The local community will get jobs, more economic activity and all that, but at the same time, Germany's economy runs well because of the German-owned car industry. If we look at the numbers from Statista, the car industry in Germany supports more than 800,000 jobs, and it's the largest contributor to GDP growth in the country. Germany's automobile exports accounted for approximately 64% of the country's production in 2020. Tesla's total market share of all cars sold, however, is roughly 0.8%. So if we divide Tesla's half a million vehicles into the approximately 62 million cars produced, you'll get to this number. Another way to look at it is that Tesla made around one of every 124 cars. So yeah, German car brands sell well all over the world, but Tesla's electric vehicle sales numbers are rising rapidly. In the first half of 2021, Tesla's sales account for about 15% of the total EV sales in the world. One final thing which is kind of interesting in Europe currently. Electric car sales surpassed the sales of diesel cars for the first time in August. EVs accounted for approximately 21% of all new car sales in Europe in the same month. Okay, so now let's go and see what the Model Y actually is. Let's find out the basics and what it's made of. So I googled. It's got around 75 kilowatt hour battery pack and the range is according to Tesla's website, a little over 500 kilometers, which is around 326 miles if EPA driving cycle is used. That's enough, of course, but the real world use, we don't really know yet. But that 500 clicks or 320 miles, whatever, gives you a really good indication of what it could be.
So, Timo, you're showing your wife's car. Yeah, she was kind enough to, to let me drive today and, and show it off for you. So. <laughs> when you compared these two cars, the Model 3 and the Model Y, how are they like? How do they compare? Well, uh, the, the handling is uh, more or less the same, but you can feel that this is a higher car. If you, if you look at the ground clearance, it's a lot more than in Model 3. You can see it also in the wheel arc. There is a lot of space between the tire and the, and the wheel. And the wheel, the tire itself, it's bigger. Uh, uh, standard tire size in Model 3 is 18 inch, and this got, as a standard tires, 19 inch uh, tires. Uh, we've got uh, plastic fenders here going around, giving a little bit uh, um, crossover or SUV look and feeling here. Obviously, as this is higher car, you sit higher, you see the traffic over the other cars, it's a fantastic feeling. And it's easy to get in, it's easy to get out, because the seats are higher than in Model 3. It's very easy and convenient to get in and to get out. No effort at all. So the handles are pretty much the same, right? Yeah, they are same like in Model 3. And unlike in Model X, which has got Falcon doors, we've got normal doors in Model Y. You can uh, fold down the, the rear seat backs in two phases. First, you can have two thirds or you can have one third or all of them. And, and the trunk is huge after that. How's the back seat? How's the headroom? There's plenty of room. This, uh, the front seats are high, so I can put my feet underneath the front seat. I can almost stretch them right, completely straight. Headroom is good. I think there is like four or five inches uh, space above my head. Visibility is good. And the frunk. The frunk is huge. You can fit here a trolley or you can uh, put two shopping bags here. Uh, nothing much to service here. You can fill in the uh, windscreen washer fluid here. And then if you need to tow someone, this is useful. Or in the rare case that you need to be towed, it's here. And there is a button in here. If you get stuck in the frunk, you get out by pressing this release button. The rear visibility is not much of anything, but then there's the backing up camera. What do you think about the quality nowadays? I think it's uh, reasonably good. Especially now that when, when the design is pure simplicity, it's like uh, plain, it's very plain. Clean, smooth uh, surfaces, display, steering wheel, few stalks, two stalks actually, and then two buttons. That's it. It's enough. To me, the design has always been like a bloated Model 3 which is the smallest and the most affordable Tesla currently. And I don't think it's a mini version of the Model X either. But don't get me wrong, I think it's pretty okay. But designing crossovers, it's a tough game. When you compare the pricing of the Model 3 and Model Y, you have to compare the all-wheel drive versions. According to Inside EVs, there's some 14% premium over the Tesla Model 3. So the Model Y costs around 60,000 euros, give or take, depending a bit where you live in Europe. Anyways, the Model 3 is such a popular EV currently that everyone and their mom is talking about it. The Model Y, however, I don't know, it's too early to say how popular it'll become. You can get the base version of the Model 3 for just under 50,000 euros in Finland, and the Model Y costs almost 65. 
but thinking about 50k, with such a low running costs, it makes it really attractive for everyone. For Tesla's benefit, their own charging network is the best, to be honest. If you go on YouTube to see reviews of any other EVs, the public charging is the main issue there. So no matter where you go, there's a Tesla supercharger available and which is super reliable. In 2014, I started to drive a Tesla Model S for like 3 years as my only car. And I already then managed to drive across Europe with it. Like across Europe. Now that was something else back then. Something completely new. But there's no comparison between the shady, regular public charging stations and Tesla's reliable supercharging network. Which is basically just plug and play. So about the letters. S3XY. Sexy. The letters and the amazing flexibility and funness that a company leader can instill in a company. I mean, think about it. So first you've got the Model S, then the Model 3, then the X, and now Y. You can google it up, but there was some beef with Ford over the Model E, like the brand name. Supposedly Ford has a trademark on the Model E name or whatever. So talking about the funness and the flexibility of Tesla, I think most of the people have seen the fart functions and the different horns for pedestrians, so we won't go there. But there's clearly the funness to the whole Tesla brand, for sure. There's this eccentric CEO of the company, who can basically do whatever and excite people in different ways. I mean, think of another brand, let's say Ford, Toyota or Volvo, bringing fart functions to their cars. <laughs> I mean, no way. These are statements, so you don't have to take things too seriously, right? So all in all, do something differently, do something crazy, get attention, get fans, followers, etc. So is this Model Y considered to be like a family car or...? I would say yes, this is a perfect family car. It's uh, roomy, you can put a uh, lot of stuff inside, uh, at least three kids on, on the safety seats, on the back seat. It's easy to access. What do you think acceleration? Do you think it's important? <laughs> do you think it's important for family cars? Yeah, nowadays it seems to be important. I, I, I mean, a decade ago if you asked if uh, five seconds uh, enough for a family car, yes. Why, why shouldn't it be enough now? Obviously, you have used to it that electric cars, they are insane and ludicrous and whatnot. But 4 seconds, 4.9 seconds, yeah, it should be enough. Alright, it wouldn't be a proper car review if we didn't have a, a drag strip <laughs> and acceleration from 0 to 100. We're doing 0 to 100, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, in front of us we have a downhill, so it's not going to give us a, a full picture uh, of the performance. Uh, also underneath us it's uh, not fully clean, the tarmac. Uh, we are side of the road. Now we just, let's wait uh, for an empty slot. No, nobody from the left, nobody from the right, and then we pushed. So we have two people in the car, some bunch of stuff, camera gear, and whatever. We're gonna wait for a little while for these other cars to pass, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. What do you think? Five, five seconds? Let's see. Five, Four. five is a good result because we are starting from standstill and, and the, the rolling one foot rollout is not uh, taken into account. So. Okay. Now it seems to be empty. Empty here as well. Are you ready? Yes. Oh man. Holy shit, this is fast. Just under five seconds. Just under five seconds. What did I what did I say? 4.9, 4. I don't know. 4.96 from zero to 100. With a Tesla Model Y, this is pretty cool. I actually didn't believe that this would be this fast, but here we are. It's slow. With my Model S, it's half of that size. <laughs> this is slow. Yeah. Well, let's yeah, let's do that next. 
it's more or less what was promised. Yeah. As this is a higher car, you sit higher, you see the traffic over the rooftop, rooftops of other cars. Like, Hello, sure. so. Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That shit. <laughs>